Hey, thank you for joining us today. Would you rather be rich or poor? You know, I think the obvious answer is we'd probably rather be rich, but in the scriptures, we actually read that there's someone who'd rather be neither. In Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 7, the writer says, two things I ask of you, deny them not to me before I die. Remove far from me falsehood and lying. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that is needful for me, lest I be full and deny you and say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. It's very hard for us to imagine if given a choice between rich or poor, we would choose neither. Mm -hmm. To never have an abundance and never to be without. You know, it's easy for us to understand not wanting to be without, right? No one wants to be poor. But to say, I don't want an overabundance, when we live in a country and a world where we have such an overabundance, it's hard to want that. To say, that's what I want, is to not have an overabundance. But we also see in the Western world right now, and even in this country, more and more people walking away from God. And a lot of the reasons given for that is because of science or different things like that. We're moving past the our identity as, as a, a Christ-centered nation, all these other things. But I think the biggest reason may potentially be because we have so much. And because of our overabundance, uh, we have made our stomachs God. We have made our appetites God. And because those things are being filled, we don't think that we need God. And so we need to remember and realize that regardless of what we have, how much we have, we're still in need of God. We're still in need of our Savior. And if we don't have Him, then we have nothing. So help us. Uh, so we should be looking to, for Him to help us in our lives to never look beyond Him, never think that we have enough to be without Him, and understand that we are always dependent upon our Heavenly Father. So let's look to see where he's working in our lives and how much we need him each day, week, and year. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again next week.